Okay, so this is how I've done this. I've taken a piece of glass and I've used this tape here, which is called 3M 468MP. It's a really weird tape. Uh, it's not like tape that you'd expect. It's more like a gel kind of thing. If you try to cut this with scissors, it's just going to stick. You can see that it just pulls off into like a, a film. All right. So what you want to do is you want to be real careful and lay out strip by strip by strip on your glass and then mark your PEI front to back on your glass bed so that it's centered and uh, make a slice with a straight edge so you just cut through the backing of this uh, material and leave that because that's your alignment piece when you put your PEI on the glass and then I'm using a ruler to hold the PEI sheet off of the actual glue so I can work down uh, the air bubbles and keep it nice and uh, flat all right so now that I've got this first section all pushed flat right here just up to that tape line right there I can see it real close what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this back a little bit and I'm gonna grab the next piece of tape the backing on the tape and I'm gonna remove that okay I'm gonna slide it right on out like that make sure you keep your PEI nice and high okay and then keep your ruler ready if you need to take a break you can just send it on edge but we're gonna lay this flat and we're gonna work it just like this front to back trying to get any air bubbles out that we have I'm actually gonna turn it like this because I can work even easier and I'm using my hand to hold up the PEI and I'm just gonna work front to back just like that this being the front until I get to that next tape seam okay and this will make sure that I don't accidentally stick anything alright and then we'll put this in a heat bed when we're done now these air bubbles on top that's actually a protective cover on the PEI and uh, if I had a nice roller I would do something with it so now I'm gonna go ahead and put my ruler back up there on edge just so I can get my self situated here I'm gonna pull the next backing out if you try to use that one piece 12 by 12 it could be a challenge because you can't really use a slip sheet with this stuff Okay, so I'm going to hold this up again. I'm going to pull that backing piece off. Slide my ruler back. If you let that piece fall, you're going to have some problems. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn it on its side. And I'm going to work front to back on the sheet and just kind of get it pushed down to the next seam. Looking pretty good. All right. Same thing as before. Just going to turn the ruler up on its edge, just to give myself a break, so I can let go. I did have some divots that I filled with PVI, and it looks like it's nice and flat, so we're good there. Because my glass messed up when I was pulling off some ABS parts. All right. Pull that backing piece off. All right, we're ready to rub down the next section. Sorry for the poor lighting and all that kind of stuff on this video. This is with my cell phone. Believe it or not, I've got it sitting on this little. Um, it's called a magic arm and a little mobile phone suction cup that goes on your windshield in your car. Alright, so this one I'm going to have to be kind of careful with. Alright, so I'm going to pull this. This is my last piece of backing off. I'm going to reach in there real careful, get it started without cutting myself. Alright. I'm going to slip that backing off. Get this ruler out of the way now. Now it's up to me not to let it drop. And I'm just going to rub my finger front to back just like I was doing. 
working one edge to the other. You might be tempted just to let it drop on, but don't. Just get it pushed on as much as you can by relaxing the sheet. push the rest out like that. I'm going to turn around where I can push it better. Alrighty. I can just get in there and pull this other piece of backing off and then we're going to put it in the heat press. Alright. So that's how you mount your PDI without any air bubbles to a sheet of glass using some Pretty fancy tape from 3M called 486MP, I'm sorry, 468MP.